I received the commission in, in I think it was March of 2009, and so uh, shortly afterwards we started uh, meeting with the community, and so a lot of Re River Road uh, residents uh, came and met with me. They they came to a number of meetings where we just first few ones they kept asking me, well, what ideas do you have in mind? And I one I didn't have any ideas in mind, and two I didn't want to put anything out there until I heard from the community. The original idea for the bridge from the civil engineer was this just sort of monolithic wall and it was seven feet tall and it had a little fake um, archway in there and and it really it it didn't fit the character of the park and so Boone Powell came in and said hey why can't we do this and in an hour he drew something on on a little napkin and in an hour we had completely changed the look of the bridge and so I learned that you can ask a lot more questions of why or what if or do we have to do it this way um, I kind of originally thought this was what I have to work with, this is my canvas. And so we, we added the windows. Um, this is the first time the city really, I think, one of the first times the city has brought artists in very early in on the design process. And so usually public art is just, at the end had just been, okay, here's your stuff, put your art there. And so this time artwork got truly integrated into the entire design all the way from the very beginning. And I think that made a big difference. So just the other day, I found a frog in my backyard, and I picked him up, and I, and I started telling him about the bridge. I said, I made a bridge in your honor, and he didn't seem real impressed. But, but it was, that's the point of what I'm trying to do with the bridge, is that you see the bridge, you, you learn about the life cycle of the Gulf Coast Toad, and then when you happen to see one in your backyard, it makes sense. And you get that connection that toads are important to our environment. They're important to the macrocosm of, of San Antonio and the health of our waterways. So this guy gets created by about a four or five part mold where I, I made the original which was the shape of, of just the frog and then I sprigged on the eyeballs which are separate and then I sprigged on the feet. So the feet were separate here and here and that made the complete toad and that way like each toad is a little bit different and so when you look at each, each of the eight panels that are like this no to two toads are ever alike. Very shortly the cells will start to divide, so like these are single cell eggs now, but then they'll divide the double, and then they'll sort of break loose of the individual tape and become individual tadpoles. And so the tadpoles start moving here, and then they start growing little back hind legs and developing further into finally what they're, they're called uh, froglets. And so these are pretty much close to developed frogs, but they still have their little tails. And then the next panel they move into a mature frog. And so that's what this guy is. And a little bit of bonuses here. I put a couple of bees in here for him to eat. And uh, he is one proud mature frog that made it through the entire process without getting eaten by other things. The sprig is a, is a small mold that I've made in advance and I've made it out of plaster. And so then what I can do is I can load it with clay and then I can take whatever it, um, it is I want to sprig the, the clay onto. Then I just come in, I, I usually lick it, apply a little pressure and a release and then it makes my, my image.